Jeff Sargent alongside Kyle Donan. And Kyle, while some were wondering where the goal scoring went for the Langley Rivermen, well, it showed up tonight. Yeah, in a big way. And uh, again, not much else you can say other than they really needed it tonight. And uh, scoring 12 goals in one game is huge, and it's, that's got to give confidence to any team. Absolutely. It was a, a big start to the game. That's also something they needed. Three goals in the first. They added four in the second, five in the third. Let's head straight to the highlights. Take a look. Mitch McLean, eight minutes into the first. He takes a bump, stays on his feet. Bretzman has a chance to come in. Back enter towards the goal. They score! Brendan Golko at the loose puck. He was left alone at the side of the crease, and it's a 1-0 lead for the Rivermen. Robinson still with it along the boards. Sends it along for Azurdia. Azurdia with some room down low. Cross ice feed. Bretzman, he scores! Tony Bretzman, a power play goal. Just getting a piece of it with his left pad was Dayfield. Azurdia gets it back off the end boards. Looking for a shot, still has it. Centering feed to no one. It's back to Forney who scores! Past a screen, Dayfield. He was tied up with Robinson just outside the crease. And a 3-0 lead for the Rivermen. Face off to the right of Dayfield as it's Azurdia who wins the draw. He's out with Cook and Robinson. Shot for the point by Bretzman. Rebound in tight. Robinson gets on it. And it's still kept out. They do score a late one. Austin Azurdia on the power play. Rockwood waits over for Rosenthal. McLean, though, intercepts and just clears it out. 2 on one chance now for the Rivermen. Kraft and Gulka. Nathan Kraft hangs on. Backhand scores! Nathan Kraft, a big goal. It's 5 nothing Rivermen. Vela had a good chance late in the first period, and we're going to have a scrap here. Gulka is going after Saunders, who earlier in the game wanted to go after Kraft. Early, it's Gulka with a number of rights. Still hanging on, and Gulka is just feeding it to Saunders, getting a couple lefts in there as well. Saunders finally able to land a couple blows. Gulka with another big right. Still hanging on there is Saunders. He's just trying to hold his own. He is tired, you can tell. And now the linesman will move in, but what a scrap there as Brennan Gulka had his way with John Saunders. And back out to center for Craighead. He's out with Kilistoff. Late on a shift, though. Craighead hangs on. Still with the puck. Centering feed. Banks it in. They score! Bretzman pinching in. Sends it around the boards. Reichert in behind the net towards the front. Ustaski with the shot. Save made. They score on the rebound! As Forney picks up the puck in the neutral zone, and he'll skate it into the zone. Off of Ustaski's skate. Cross feed, and they score! It's Forney's second of the game. Just tips it in off the stick on the far side, and it's 8 nothing Riverman. Ustaski spinning around, dishes it for the captain, McLean back for Johnson, and now it's Charlie Pelnick. Pelnick into the corner, Ustaski centering feed, McLean scores! 9-0, and what a feed from behind the net. Ustaski out to McLean. Clearing attempt, fails, kept in at the far point. McLean back to the point, just kept in by Bretzman. Towards the goal, they score! 10-0! McLean gets control of it. Shovels it back around the boards. Maxwell's out with Vela. Maxwell takes a hit. Backhand chance. McLean scores his second of the game. The 10 goal lead is back. So that's something that you have to juggle. Kraft gets the puck. He takes a bump from Biega. Kilistoff in the far corner. Ustaski one timer scoring is Kraft. 12 1. Kraft on the rebound. 12-1, Kyle. Well, there you have it, a 12-2 win, Kyle, for the Langley Rivermen. Uh, now, not only did a lot of guys that hadn't scored in a while uh, get off the schneid, but the power play was also good. Power play was very effective right from the beginning of the game, and, and that's a, that was a key to their game tonight. And uh, they continued to work on it even when they were up by five or six, even seven goals at times. But it's something that they need to work on, and it really showed here tonight. Well, that's something that impressed me too, and definitely the coaching staff will be happy with, is that they kept the pedal down. They played the same to finish the third as they started the first. Yeah, it really, it really never slowed down for them right from the very beginning of the game. You know, when you go into a third period up 7 nothing, you never really expect to score another five goals, but as you said, the, the gas pedal was down the entire game. And uh, Steve Myland, another good game in net, uh, had a couple uh, go in in the third period when the game was already more than sealed, but he had another strong outing. Yeah, he was very solid again tonight, and uh, some consistency in net has, has been really good for the Rivermen. A couple, a couple weak goals towards the end, but when your team's up by, by 10 goals towards the end of the game, it's, uh, you know, it's just important to, to stay composed and to finish the game off and get the win. And most importantly, of course, the Rivermen getting a big two points over their division rival, the Coquitlam Express. 
So the Riv now improved to 3-1 and one against the Express so far this season. They'll still have another four meetings with them. They also improve their overall record to 10-5, 1-1. One and, and good to see a couple guys getting their first BCHL goals tonight, Kyle. Uh, Tony Bretzman getting one and two, actually, on the night. And also uh, Marcus Vela and uh, also Brendan Golka getting their first. And uh, just a great night all around for the Rivermen. Coming up on Saturday night, though, a big test as the West Kelowna Warriors make their only regular season stop in town Saturday night here at the LEC. It's also a trick or sweet night, so any kids in costume get in for free and they get a chance to go around the suite level and uh, trick-or-treat along the haunted hallway. So uh, definitely a fun night coming up on Saturday night. A big 12-2 win here tonight, though, for the Rivermen over the Coquitlam Express.